to start National Hot Dog Month, and that means millions and millions of hot dogs will be eaten over the next 31 days. One thing everyone always wants to know, what's in a hot dog? We're here at Pearl today to find out. How you doing? I'm Bob Camillo, president of Pearl Meatpacking, one of the owners. Uh, Pearl, as it stands today, uh, was bought in 19... 88 by me and my partners uh, from the Joseph Kirshner company. The company itself has been around over 85 years. Original owners were the Bornstein and Pearl families. And uh, we make great Pearl hot dogs, pastrami, corned beef. Uh, we're now doing some private labels for people like Trader Joe's, Shields, Shaw's, uh, several different people, Johnny's Foodmaster, uh, Roast Beef. And uh, really, uh, we're considered a premium type uh, manufacturer. You know, we compete uh, with the high-end uh, big boys. Uh, we're not the cheapest guy in the block. And they expect that we will be. And uh, that's our story. Well, I told you we were going to find out what was in the hot dogs, and now it's time. We've donned our lab coats, hair nets. We're all uh, sanitized. And into the belly of the beast we go. Okay. Basically what we do is we bring our, our, our boneless beef and our briskets and our trimmings in from outside suppliers. Uh, most of it comes from out west. Uh, we take the meat. We have a certain formula, which obviously I'm not going to tell you because it's confidential. We take our meat and we grind it. Uh, once the, the meat is ground, we put our mixture together, put it into this blender, and at that time, we add our secret recipe of spices, which are all natural, and, you know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of cure, uh, and mix it all up nice, nice. Once that uh, blend is mixed, it goes to this machine, which you'll see it's called the emulsifier, which basically is a series of fine plates, uh, which takes the meat and makes it into this emulsion, which... But most people are going to look at it, it looks like a fine, um, for lack of another term, almost like toothpaste coming out of the, uh, the cylinder. Uh, that blend then, then goes into a uh, VMAG stuffing machine. And what this does is this allows us to put a natural casing, which is all we make, onto the stuffing horn. Once we hit a, a little button with our knee, the meat will go into the stuffing horn through the stuffing hump and fill this natural casing. Obviously, there's different sizes and that's uh, decided by what casing we use. Uh, from there, it'll go through a linking machine or a portioner where it'll give us the exact weight we want or the exact length we want. Uh, from that point, we have a gentleman at the end of the bench that are uh, putting them on a sticks those sticks are then put onto a cooking rack. Uh, once that cooking rack is, is filled, it gets taken into a, a cooking oven area where it'll uh, be slowly cooked until we get the proper color and temperature uh, and bite that we want. From there it gets showered, quickly chilled, and our blast chills, and then packed off and depending on what size packages we're going to make, whether it be a one pound package or a five pound package or a two pound package. We make all different sizes. I'm here with Buddy Lazaro and Bob Camilio, owners of Pearl Franks in Randolph, Massachusetts. And guys, I just want to thank you for uh, taking us on the tour. And we're going to have an awful lot of fun this month eating a lot of Pearl Franks all over New England. Thank you. Glad you came. Yep. Pleasure. Thanks, Bob. Welcome. All right. Have a good time. That's the hot dog man, that guy.